Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to install a hot body spinner laminator on my son's 2020 Grom. To do that, we first need to remove the seat and this hideous factory rear fender. So let's get started. Now that we've got the seat off, we need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts, these two Phillips screws on the back here, and underneath the bottom, this Phillips and that Phillips right there, and that'll release our side panel that we need to take off first, and then we can get the rear. So let's get this off first. You might want to think about getting in like a magnetic dish. You can put your nuts and bolts in so you don't lose them or they fall and get lost. The tools for this are just basic hand tools, 10 millimeter socket, Phillips screwdriver. So let's get these off. Now we'll come underneath the back right here and we'll get these Phillips out. Okay, now that we've got that off, right here there's two retainers on either side that hold this on. So just pop it out, kind of be careful with it so you don't break it, and then just pull this apart and lift it right off. And then we can set it to the side. Now that we've got our seat off, we need to take the wire that runs to the turn signals into the license plate light that comes through this loom and down here in plugs and we'll get that off. Now that we've got the wire disconnected, we can go ahead and remove the 12 millimeter bolts that hold the rear fender on. You have to be careful with these bolts because the frame is open in the back and they do have a tendency to want to fall in that hole. And then pull it down. I've already taken the liberty of hooking up the wire off our old fender. What you want to do is cut it where it comes out because you're going to have to use it on the new one. So this plug has four wires in it. It's got a green, a blue, an orange, and a yellow. So the green is the ground. So it'll tie into both turn signals and the license plate light. All three of those tie together. The blue goes to the right turn signal, sorry, the right turn signal, and the orange goes to the left turn signal. And then the yellow wire ties into the white on the license plate light. And it comes with butt splices you can use, or if you have a soldering iron, it's better to just solder them together. This kit comes with holes in the back for the license plate, so you got to have your own nuts and bolts supplied to put those in. And it's easier to do it now that it's off than wait until you get it on there. And then the kit comes with these two bolts, these spacers that go on, and two nylon washers. So we'll go ahead and get this on now. So hold these bolts on with your fingers underneath, and then take the plug and go back to the original location, pull it through, and then just feed the bolts back in to the factory location, like so. Take your 
nuts and put on top. By the way, these are 10 millimeter nuts. The bolts on the bottom of these are a number four hex head. So you, that's all you need for it. And then just tighten it up. Of course, if you're using an impact like I am, make sure you don't over tighten it because you will snap it off. Just snug it up. Like so. Now that we've got our fender eliminator on, take the factory wire, feed it back through the original location. Go back through your looms with it. Reconnect your plug. Put your cover back over it. And then just put it back in the location and bend your metal tab back over it. Now take your rear tail section and feed it back on. Just spread it apart a little bit and then get it on. Remember on this kit, you need to make sure this fender eliminator has these little lips. So you need to make sure you pull this over so that it clears those lips. And then just line up your retainer and push them in. Take your Phillips. The Phillips here and the Phillips on the bottom are basically the same one. They're shouldered bolts, but the ones on the top have big heads. The ones on the bottom have small heads. Take your 10 millimeter bolts. Tighten those back up. I'll use a ratchet to snug these up so I don't break it with my impact. your two smaller shoulder bolt screws actually and put them in the bottom Reinstall your seat. And there you have it. Now the one thing about this kit, once you change the tail lights, you're gonna have to change the flasher. Because as you can see in the back, the flashers don't work. you change the flasher you can get them on Amazon for six dollars and it's up here in the front and that'll take care of your flashing situation and that covers it 
that's all that it takes to put this hot body spinner eliminator on. If you like the channel and you like what you saw and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.